the Olympic champion going through the diving order here. Matthew Mitchum, last but one to dive. This is the order, in fact. Jonathan Ruvalcaba from Mexico leading the divers off. And what a battle in prospects there is. This is the semi-final placings in reverse order. Semi-final is held this morning. Battle between Shubo, Matthew Mitchum, Cho Lutsin, and Tom Daly, perhaps also the young British diver, just 15 years of age. Intimidating sight, that 10 meter platform. Brilliant setting here in Rome. They've staged these championships magnificently. There are the seven judges who kick us off. They're going to have their work cut out. As always, the top and bottom two marks will be deleted and the remaining three added together multiplied by the degree of difficulty the tariff for each individual dive six dives for the men five for the women already had great action here in the diving pool with china's superstar lady princess of diving on the three meter springboard go xingqi absolutely walking away with the gold medal her fifth successive World title, and we're not expecting anywhere near the one-sided competition like that here on the 10-meter board this evening. Time is just coming up to quarter to six in the evening in Rome. It's one of the nicest times of the day. It's been hot again during the middle period of the afternoon, but the shade brought a bit of welcome relief. Well, the spectators on the far side from our main camera position will have the sun in their eyes as it dips below the stand behind us. Just introducing the judges. It's an idea of the view that the divers get. Marking out their run up. Got to be one of the biggest tests of sheer nerve in sport. Just run along that platform and hurl yourself out into the unknown almost. These guys are supremely talented. And Ruval Caba from Mexico will get the competition underway. Just 18 years of age. There is some astonishing young talent on display in this 10 meter final. The dive from Rivalcaba forward three and a half somersault was his best in the semi final. <laughs> Pretty confident opening start as well for the Mexican. It's quite as well executed as it was in the semi-final, which was held this morning, qualifying yesterday. We were all back here at 10 o'clock this morning. A good two hours of competition. And they've had five, five and a half hours of a break. Three sevens for Rubo Carver's opening dive. Brian Nixon Lomas from Malaysia did really well to make this final. Pulled it out with an exceptional dive right at the end. That was a forward three and a half somersault pike. Seven and a half, eight, seven and a half, seven and a half, seven and a 
Lomas was very inconsistent in the semi-final. He had three really good dives, two pretty shockers, and one a bit on the weak side. So he needs to get some consistency. Consistent 7.5s there for his first dive. Sasha Klein is another one who couldn't quite level out his form. Starting off with him with three and a half somersault tucked here. Well, he produced the best dive with that particular test in the opening round of the semi-final. Put himself right at the top of the leaderboard, then fell away and had to work to get himself back in the qualifying dozen and again he's delivered that one pretty successfully the tuck really tight how good those knees are into the chest and the entry just falling away slightly but three good eights to start 76.8 slightly below his opening dive this morning now we're on to Alexei Kravchenko of Russia. Forward three and a half somersault. This was one of his strongest dives as well this morning. Very quickly into the somersault and he's produced another high quality display with his first run this evening. to then reach out for the water and hold that straight line on entry. Three eights again. Molly McCormick, the inward three and a half somersault. 2016. Well, he's got top level experience. He competed in Beijing where he finished 16, so he's already progressed from that. He has legs as tight together as possible in the tucked position. Quite up to this morning's standards, but there's so much more pressure on now. This is the final three 6.5s. Come straight out and speak to their coach for a little bit of advice. They can't do the same dive again, of course, though, so each dive represents a different series of tests. Konstantin Popovici here from Romania. Arm stand back double somersault, one and a half twist. Needs to get those legs really straight before he releases. Crowd <laughs> like that. Spontaneous applause and from his coach. What a test of nerve, as well as gymnastic ability. The start of that dive is holding himself into a perfect position. And superbly executed. And that is a great opening dive from the Romanian. Look at that, two nines and an 8.5. David Boudia, sixth this morning, the American. Forward three and a half somersault piked. Twenty-eight 
20 year old from Abilene in Texas. And another good dive. Oh, I know it's the best in the world and they're setting that sort of standard at the moment. Really tight pike. And the entry. Top drawer as well. Three eight point five. And they've had five or six hours to get themselves in the right frame of mind. Now it's a matter of sustaining their ability. Here's Romel Pacheco. A little bit of extra rotation there. Forward three and a half somersault pike. Let's do a good dive. The takeoff. Brave and cutting through the water. Right on the edge of the board. Hovering in the air there in the somersault pike position. And reaching out. Two 8.5s and an 8. Best dive so far, best dive so far by Popovici. This is Chao Litsin, the Olympic silver medalist. Well, he knows he's got a real fight on his hands today, not just with his old rival Matthew Mitchum, but also the new young talent, Chu Bo. But that was top draw from the man who led the Olympic final for so long. Really, just have to sit and admire the nerve, the skill. Oh, brilliant start, two 9.5s and a nine. A gauntlet throw right down, particularly at Matthew Mitchum's feet. Now it's Tom Daly, the 15 year old. Back two and a half somersault, one and a half twists. 15 years of age. And in the World Championship final. And that's a fine dive from the young Brit. Neutrals in the crowd here will take to the youngest competitor. Seem to get better and better as the semi-final went on. And that is a super start from Tom Daly. Perched right on the edge of that diving board. Quickly through the twists and into the somersaults. And perfect entry. British team officials really like it. Nine and eight and a half, two eight and a halves. Three nines though in the judging, losing the top two. Still a strong declaration of intent. Best dive so far. Two to go though. Matthew Mitchell. The Olympic champion. Boy, that was sensationally into the water. Olympic champion, world champion. He'll like the sound of that if he can achieve it. Uh, that is a challenging start for the rest of the field. He is a big man, really tall. Look how tight that pike position is. And the entry is flawless. Well, just sit back and enjoy it if you're the coach. Three nines, two 9.5s cancelled out the rest all nines Chubo leader after the semi-final forward three and a half somersault Again, top quality stand. Remember the degree of difficulty 
it's possibly what's going to distinguish the divers at this stage, depending on what they've chosen to open with. Chubo, a 3.0 degree of difficulty. Chubo there, three nines again. Tom Daly opened up with a 3.4 degree of difficulty. And that may be what put him at the top of the field at the moment. Constantine Popovice in second place. Chow Lucin in third. Mitchum fourth. Chubo fifth. Jonathan Ruvalcaba starts the second round of dives in 11th place. The legs need to be as close together as is possible. To push off and make sure you clear that board. Solid concrete, of course. Just a slight angle on the entry, but coaches thought it was a decent shout. A six and two, six point fives. Brian Nixon Lomas from Malaysia, 10th position, back three and a half somersault tucked. All these divers down the lower end of the scale have their own challenge. Some of them like the Malaysian here is only 19. Still competed in the last two Olympic Games, 14th and 18th. And an angle on the entry there will cost him a few points. Two 6.5s and a 6. Sasha Klein from Germany has a vociferous bunch of supporters here. Forward. Four and a half somersault there. It's a 3.5 degree of difficulty. Tuck position, needs to be as tight as he can. Opens out. Really got to hurl yourself into those rotations to complete them with enough space to get out into the correct entry position. Starts to unwind just with the time to straighten the legs. And the marks, two sixes and a 6.5. Alex, Alexei Kravchenko is next on the board. Arm stand, back, triple somersault, tucked, 3.2 the tariff. Again, the angle on entry. Maybe the knees there to give himself extra snap on the launch. Pushing off and up. The somersaults well executed. Trying to keep the tuck in as much as possible. Was in 12th position. Three sevens. A respectable effort.
Riley McCormick from Canada. Bringing up the rear at the moment, back three and a half somersault pike, 3.6 the tariff. Better effort there from the Canadian, especially with the higher tariff. Better dive from McCormick, 16 year old, 17 next month, pushing off and away from the board. And a good entry. Three eights. That's a real step forward for the young Canadian. Konstantin Popovici, first three and a half somersault, tucked 3.4 the degree of difficulty. Second place at the moment after his first dive. Was that a one off? Can he maintain that sort of stand? Don't think so. Lower body not straight on entry. Definite dip in standard from his first effort. More complicated dive, of course. Popovici there. There's 3.6 still to go difficulty so three six is his return David Budaya of the United States in with three and a half somersault he is in seventh position at the moment Texas, but he trains at Purdue University in West Lafayette, Indiana. Tenth in this event at the Beijing Olympics. And he's pulled out a cracking dive there. He had one storming dive in the semi-final. Highest ranked of its round, and that's another great effort. Two 9.5s and a 9. One of the dives of the competition so far. It certainly lifted him right up the rankings. Romel Pacheco, eighth. This is an arm stand back double somersault with one and a half twists. Perfect starting position. Long, long hold. It's a heart stopping weight when they just hold that position. I really do wonder what goes through their mind. Not much apart from the 10 meters that lie in front of them. Much of a snap off the board, but a good clean entry. An eight, seven and a half, and another seven and a half. Ciao, Vizine. In with three and a half somersault. Tucked, 3.2 the degree of difficulty. Beautiful entry. Well, the Olympic silver medalists 
degree of difficulty get progressively harder as he goes through. As he hits the form, he raises the stakes of the tariff and the rewards. That was another perfectly executed dive. Metaphorically, if not literally there, absolutely. You hang the wallpaper with a 90 degree angle like that. Three nines, nines, and one 9.5 across the marking. Tom Daly, first, after the opening dive. Here he goes again. Oh, another terrific effort. Spontaneous reaction from the crowd here. Absolutely cut through the water. Not to mention through the air as well. He really is pulling out the stops. It's one of his... Lower tariff dies, just three, forward three and a half somersault piked. But he's certainly hit some form here, third after the semi final. His dives are lower tariff, so he needs this excellence of delivery there. Three nines, his highest tariff dive is 3.4, whether they are 3.6s. 3.8 for Mitchum and for Chu and Chow as well. Just checking the dive details here. Matthew Mitchum. Oh, another fabulous entry into the water. I didn't think it was possible for a big man. The Olympic champion. Tuck position. It's like watching archery and shooting and darts and those sports where they never seem to miss. They're aiming at between nine and tens, haven't had a ten yet. And that again is a dive of the very highest quality. An 8.5 there, together with two nines. Lifted him. To the lead position though, Chu Bo, who was fourth, still to come here. Another top flight dive from the 16 year old. Inward three and a half somersault tucked. The junior world champion has beaten Tom Daly to silver in those championships in Arkan, but Daly got his revenge in the World Series at Sheffield this year, but that was another supreme dive. Oh, look at the tens in there. Two tens, but they won't count. The three 9.5s will, and that has taken the 16-year-old to the top of the rankings after two dives. What a sensational competition this is. Less than three points separate the top four dives. Chupo, Matthew Mitchum, just 1.1 behind him, then Chow Lutzin, and then Tom Daly. And I wonder just how much the degree of difficulty for some of the divers might just prove the crucial factor if they could nail the technique. Jonathan Ruvalcaba. Back in 12th position now. Arm stand back, double somersault, one and a half twists. At the moment, the rankings would say that he is at least the 12th best diver in the world this year. And the standard, even for those well away from the medal contention is still astonishingly high. Rukaba, one of the teenagers, getting three 7.5s. So much future ahead of them, although it is definitely a younger man's sport or younger woman's for that matter. 
30-31 is rare. By Nixon Lomas here. He's 19. We lost that one completely. The reverse three and a half somersault tucked. That was a disastrous effort. He had a couple of really poor dives in the semi-final, contrasting with some high-quality ones. He needs to get the focus across his dives. That was lost right at the end there. Comes out of the tucked position, never got his legs anywhere near up. And that gesture saying, yep, the legs were flat when they hit the deck. Three fours there. Disappointing. Sasha Klein of Germany takes up his arm stand position. Back triple somersault to follow in a piked position. 3.5, the degree of difficulty. Just rotating over, rather. His fans won't nitpick, though. They're giving him full volume of support. Maybe trying to put a little bit of pressure on the judges. Certainly the home Italian fans, when their divers have been on the board, have really reacted strongly, trying to just suggest to the judges they might look more impressively on their efforts. Every dive here worthy of applause. And 7.5s. He looks fairly satisfied with that. Highly respectable marks in a competition of this quality. Alexei Kravchenko is in 10th position. This dive has a 3.3 tariff, the back 3.5 somersault. Again, the feet coming over on impact with the water. One of the big tall divers. It's even more impressive the way that the big men can enter the water so cleanly, not quite so surprising with the Chinese competitors and young Tom Daly. That's a well-delivered dive. Holds his line at the end there. The judges giving him his reward. Two eight and a half and an eight. It's a good third dive. Canadians will be vocal now. There, Riley McCormick prepares for the arm stand back triple somersault. In the tucked position just one. Needs to get up there, needs to control that split tension on the arms it's perfectly positioned now snaps into the release and a very clean entry good dive from the 16 year old using the leg kick there for a bit of Extra rotation and a nice upright entry. 7.5. Discussing it with the coach. Meanwhile, Konstantin Popovici from Romania, eighth position. Back, three and a half somersault piked, 3.6 the tariff. Chance for points here. <laughs> Don't envy the judges their work. Subjective sport, although they have very specific detailed things to look for, strict categories, ranges, 
for the marks as well. The Romanian coach pleased with his man's effort. 6.5. David Budaya off next. Armstand back triple somersault piked three and a half. He's in fifth position. 3.3 points behind Tom Daly. Well, the judges have a, have a criteria for assessing the dive. Two and a half to four and a half is deficient. Five to six satisfactory. Six and a half to eight is in the good. Eight and a half to ten, very good. Ten, I would have thought was flawless. So, the official word for what the judges have given that. With sevens across the board, one seven point five is good. David Budaya. Romel Pacheco of Mexico, seventh. Back three and a half somersault tucked. 3.3 the Taran. Entry let him down a little bit. Tucked position there, the entry, maybe it's cost him. Clasping the legs on the shins there, opens up and it just sort of falls away rather, toppling I think. Three fives is the response. Two or three top quality dives in the semi final, so he knows he can produce. Chao Lutzin is in third position at the moment. Armstand back triple somersault. 3.5 the tariff here. Can he push on with these dives and challenge for that gold medal, snapping into it. Rotation's always quick. Maybe that pike could have been slightly tighter to the head to the knees. Entry was clean. And upright. The marks. Eight, eight and a half, and another eight. Tom Daly's execution has been terrific so far. He's in fourth place. 3.2, the tariff again. Not as high as some of them. Inward three and a half somersault. Tucked. Hard to fault his execution. That was superbly done by the 15-year-old. It's getting real great applause from the crowd. They're right behind the young lad here. He's really producing a superb performance here at the very highest level of the sport. Look how tight that tuck is. Opens out. Oh, barely a ripple on entry. Well, uh, nine stairs scored virtually across the board. He 
is in great form. Now, Matthew Mitchum. In with three and a half somersault tucked. 3.2 tarot here. And again. Well, good luck, judges. Separate these men. Big man to get tight into that tuck. Brilliantly done again. Perfect entry. Well, two tens there, but he just can't get them to count. 9.5. Now he's top Mitchum with Chubo still to perform his third dive. Armstead back triple somersault, 3.5 the degree of difficulty. Going for the lead. maybe a slight deviation from 90 degrees on the entry the pike was so tightly performed maybe not quite as good as he left a bit of a chance there's just an angle there on the entry compared with the other leaders and the marks down by the high standards being set, three eights, puts him in second place. And it hands the lead to Matthew Mitchum, the Olympic champion. It's opened up a bit of a gap there. 6.1, Chubo, losing to Chinese silver and bronze daily, just out of the medals there but only by 0.35. Seconds out, round four. Crowd now, it's filled up. No, it's not in sync with the standard of the top divers we've seen. A little bit wide on the tuck and the entry disappointing. Ruval Carver in fifth position, but that'll have been jeopardized by that dive. Three, four point fives. Disappointing for the 18 year old. Next up is the Malaysian Brian Nixon Lomas. In with three and a half somersault piked, 3.5. He's in 12th position. Again, falling over on entry. Couldn't stop the rotation on impact. Going at a terrific pace through those dives. And they've got to use that core strength to hold the leg position and stop it from continuing the rotation through to those somersaults. It opens out, holds the top half of the body but holding on to the legs as well and keeping those toes pointed upwards so difficult. Three fives there for the Malaysian. Now, one of the bigger divers comes to the board, Sasha Klein of Germany, eighth position, back three and a half somersault.
3.6 the tariff on this dive. The Olympic silver medalist from the 10 meter synchro in Beijing. He was 18th in the individual 10 meter competition. Better dive. Did well with the pike there. Close to the head. Out and good straight entry. Supporters have done him proud. And three eights. A good response. Delay here. We've had many of oh, those. Alexi Kravchenko. There's been a mistake in the scoring, I think. Just correcting Sasha Klein's oh, scores oh, two eights oh, and a seven oh, and a half. The correct scores there, holding up the competition until they've got those announced and properly logged. Now, Alexi Kravchenko, that hasn't disturbed his concentration, 23-year-old Russian, sixth position, inward three-and-a-half somersault tucked. Held his nerve. Out of the tuck there. Keep the legs tight to the body as possible. Hanging in the air there. Through the somersaults quickly. Head down, arms reaching for the water. And a perfect line of entry. Three eight point five for Kravchenko. Canada's Riley McCormick. Now reverse three and a half somersault tucked. execution again from the 16 year old ability to hang in the air and the entry held he marks to eight and eight point five Team Popovici forward three and a half somersault pikes 3.0 the degree of difficulty but it was very well completed really well done by the Romanian Great height on the takeoff. Really holding his forehead right onto his legs there and opening out and holding that line. And they like it very much. The judges thought it was pretty good as well. Boy, two nines and an 8.5. Great effort there. David Boudia from the United States in fifth position.
Inverse three and a half somersault tucked. 3.4 the tariff. Consistently well done. Judges finding something they didn't like. Whether that's in the hand position on the tuck, the entry was fairly upright. And the judges are shielding their view from the sun as they look at that, but they weren't over impressed. Well, there was a range from 7 to 4.5, 4.55 and 6, so must be unsettling that when there's such a difference of opinion from 4.5 to 7 over the judges. David Budaya losing out even with the top and bottom going. This is Romel Pacheco, 10th at the moment. Reverse three and a half somersault tucked. See what the judges make of that one. Completed dive, height into that tucked position, and the entry really well done. Well again, from seven and a half to nine, the range of judges two eights and a nine. I know they do knock out the others, but it's still somewhat undermining. It's those middle three dive so the consistency over the scoring that really counts I suppose Chao Litsin here in the bronze medal position at the moment 3.6 the tariff on this back three and a half somersault <laughs> Olympic silver medalist again going for the more difficult dive Speed of rotation, dazzling. Pushing out from the board, so quick to get his legs up. A really clean, clean line of entry there. Three nines, the 9.5 in there as well. Next up is the youngest competitor, Tom Daly of Great Britain. He's been performing the dives flawlessly almost. 3.2 the tariff on this, the arm stand back triple somersault tucked. Well again, his entry is quite sensational. He really be hard pushed to perform the dives he's chosen much better push off there into the tuck his entry is so so clean fan club like it well, there's a 10 in there. That's three nines for Daly. Matthew Mitchum next in the lead. On a 3.6 tariff dive, the back three and a half somersault piked. Towering presence up there on the board. Beautifully done. Another sensational dive. Such a massive figure as well, standing up there on the board. Hurling himself, all his physical presence into those rotations. Legs are up and he hasn't even started any hint of a decline. 
bringing the leg straight. He likes it. Well, there's a 10 in there. But can't get to count. Three nines. Straight over for a consultation with the coaching team. Leading the field, Chu Bo has got to really produce a flawless dive here to challenge Mitchum. Absolute silence in the pool as he prepared to launch himself, the 16-year-old. This has been some announcement. So far through the air. Brilliantly done. Speed of his rotations, dazzling a 16-year-old. Look how tight he is in that pike. Great entry. They love it. Look at the tens, and that ten counts in the middle there. Three tens, one to count, two 9.5s. And that's put Chu Bo into the lead. What a competition between these two. 1.1 point between Chu Bo, the 16-year-old, and the Olympic gold medalist, Matthew Mitchum. Chiu Litsin is in third, Tom Daly fourth. A real titanic battle for the gold medal as we enter round five of six. Jonathan Rubalcaba back in 11th. Reverse, three and a half somersault, tucked. A slight rotation from side to side during the tucked position. Still a well completed dive. Good entry. This young man will be gaining bucket loads of experience. Three eights there. He's shown he can produce the top dives. So, so, is that gesture supposed to mean? Sets himself a high standard. Brian Nixon, Lomas from Malaysia. He's 12th at the moment, into the arm stand for the back double somersault with one and a half twists, 3.2 the tariff. Looked one of his better dives. Snapping into the release, the twists, and just getting out of the movement in time, two 7.5s and a 7. Sasha Klein, fifth, there is a gap opening up. between each diver, so he's really going to have to produce a big dive, 3.4 the tariff on this reverse, three and a half somersault tucked. Good entry. Eighteenth in the individual 10 metres, if he could get himself into the top half dozen at the World Championships. It's been an excellent 12 months. For the 23-year-old German.
good straight entry. Alexi not quite happy. Three sevens to count. Alexei Kravchenko, no delay on his dive this time. Seventh place. Judges shielding themselves from the glare. Need to get their view spot on. Reverse three and a half somersault tucked. Well, I hope they weren't dazzled by that by the sun. Kravchenko, 23. Year old Russian producing a really clean dive there. 3.4 is the tariff. And he's delivered it really impressively. Great hold there on entry. Excellent marks. 18.5 straight nines for the rest. Here goes Riley McCormick, the Canadian. Beautiful entry. He was in sixth position. It's one of the more low tariff dives, just a 3.0, the forward three and a half somersault. But he's pulled it off expertly. Really tightly held, piked position, and a good vertical entry. Two nines and an 8.5. Coach discussing the dive with him. Konstantin Popovic from Romania, eighth. In with three and a half, somersault tucked, 3.2 the tariff. <laughs> this again is significant improvement from his Olympic performance. Got to be satisfied with the consistency here. Good pike position. Slight falling away on the entry, but it was well delivered. Two 8.5s and an 8. David Budaya. In ninth, well capable of producing a stunner. Back three and a half somersault, 3.6. That great sporting word consistency, which is required. That is out of his personal top draw. Judges have liked that one. He really likes it. Three 9.5s, and he got a 10. If he could just raise the level of his weaker dives, he really would be a force in this competition. Romel Pacheco quite matching his semi-final performance. The pressure is cranked up and the intensity is in 10th position. Back two and a half somersault, one and a half twist. A 
better dive all round. Opening out. And a clean entry there. 3 8 the halves, the mark. Cho Lutzin in the bronze medal position. His fifth of six dives. Pressure can he put on those above him? Reverse three and a half somersault, tucked. 3.4 the tariff. Real focus at the top of the board. Here he goes. Curve in the body shape on entry. Olympic silver medalist. Finding life tough this level of competition. What the judges have made of that one. High lift off the board. His legs could be slightly tighter in the tuck, maybe. The entry, slight angle. Six and a half, right up to eight and a half there. Real disparity, but two eights among the counting scores. Tom Daly, can he make up ground here? 3.3, the tariff on this back, three and a half somersault. He's been diving beautifully, the 15-year-old from Great Britain. Oh, they love him here. Absolute silence as he prepares to launch. Whether that entry was quite as clean as his previous, it was still beautifully done. He's really diving out of his skin here. What a talent, 14 years of age when he finished seventh in the Olympics, progressing over the winter, delivering on the big occasion here, and the crowd are right behind him for a medal. Look at the tens, four tens for Tom Daly, two of them count with a nine and a half. What more could he do? It's put him above. Chow into a medal position. Matthew Mitchum now. 3.2, arm stand back, double somersault, one and a half twists. Needs to be his very best for the gold. Two dives left. Well, of course he makes it look easy. It's the physical presence of the man and the way he still manages to enter so cleanly. What a battle this is for the gold medal. Mitchum wanting to become the Olympic and world champion. Another great entry there. those straight nines of the 9.5 top top quality but is it going to be enough 16 year old Chubo former world junior champion to become the world senior champion his penultimate dive reverse three and a half somersault well it's down to the judges now this is where they earn their money, metaphorically speaking. Tuck was tight. Just a little heavier on the entry. Still top quality from the 16-year-old. The last dive of the penultimate round. Great entry again. Satisfied look from the coach. More animated elsewhere. Nines to score, one 9.5. He's still in the lead. Chu Bo, the 16 year old. All down to the last round. What a fight for the medals this is. 
Chubo in gold medal position. Matthew Mitchum just behind. And Tom Daly now has got a 10 point advantage in the bronze medal position. Into the last round. Fantastic competition this has been. Jonathan Aruvalcaba completes his set of dives with a back two and a half somersault, two and a half twist, piked, 3.8 the tariff. Saving the toughest till the end. Awful lot of movement to get through before that entry into the water. It's a make or break sort of dive at the end of his routine. But it's a tough one to complete successfully. The judges with so much going on to judge and to pick back. Sixes for that. He's had a go though. Brian Nixon, Lomas from Malaysia, 12th at the moment, 3.4 the tariff on his back, two and a half somersault with one and a half twists, can he go out in style? Well, the divers at the lower end of the competition have to maintain their own motivation here. The crowd just on the edge of its seats for the last few dives. But that was a good end there to 7.5 and 8 for the young Malaysian. We'll have more days like this, age 23. Now it's Sasha Klein, the German, back two and a half somersault, two and a half twist, another 3.8 maximum tariff here. Well, he's really had a right go at that one. It's about as difficult a dive as you can get. And he's really executed it impressively. Big man again, the twist, the arms, there into the pike and beautiful entry. It's a great concluding drive to the competition. Boy, that is a terrific end. Three nines on the 3.8 tariff, 102 points he's clawed back there. That is a real sign off in style. Alexei Kravchenko has to follow that. Also, with a 3.8 tariff dive. He's in fifth position. Back two and a half somersault, two and a half twist. And we're seeing some diving of the highest order here. The most complex routines to close the competition. And divers now showing what they can do, showing their real potential. Reaching back and into that twist, moving the position of the hands to complete the pike. And an excellent entry. Well, again, two eight and a halves and a nine to score there. Three nines in the judging. No wonder he's smiling, the Russian. A great finish. Riley McCormick in seventh with a slightly, comparatively less ambitious dive. The back two and a half somersault, one and a half twists, carries a 3.4 degree of difficulty. 
he's in seventh place. A name to remember from these championships, though, at just 16. Not the youngest. And he can only press on from this World Championship experience. Completing a strong competition. Pike maybe could have been slightly tighter, but... The entry was impressive. And the marks, 8.5s, three of them. Appreciation from his support team. Konstantin Popovic from Romania. 3.4 the tariff of this back, two and a half somersault, one and a half twists. years of age last dive of the competition for him a long hold good dive to finish terrific competitive instincts and pride coming from these divers to sign off with such an excellent series of dives we've seen in this final round and that again is a top draw effort from the Romanian they're really fighting for every place in this world championship final out and into the entry there which was perfectly held well he's got a 10 in there somebody thought it was perfect nine and a half to count excellent final effort from Popovic, David Boudia, 3.8, back two and a half somersault, two and a half twists. He's shown he can rise to the occasion with individual dives. He's in sixth place. How's he going to finish his set of dives? It's another. <laughs> Strong effort there. These are brave calls for the highest tariff dives at the end. And again, he's completed it well. So much going on. Twist. Hands in there by the neck. Reaching behind him for the pike. And still he has to come out with a good entry position. Three, eight point fives for the American. Romel Pacheco in 10th position. His final dive is an inward three and a half somersault tucked. Another nice clean dive. 3.2, the tariff, not quite as much of a gamble, but superbly finished. Look at the pace of those rotations. Just hanging in the air there. Completing the somersaults, reaching for the water. A lovely entry. Nines right across the board. Terrific finish for the Mexican. Chao Litsin bidding to get among the medals here. It's a 3.8 degree of difficulty. Produced a really poor last dive in the Olympics. He'll be looking to really try and deliver here get that bronze medal position highest tariff possible to give him the maximum return Ooh. here he goes oh beautiful 
What an entry into the water that was. Barely a ripple. Has that been enough to deprive young Tom Daly of a medal? The highest tariff, 3.8. He's really produced a, an excellent finish there, the Olympic silver medalist. The high tariff could get its rewards here. Let me see the marks. Two nines and 8.5, more than 100 points. It's in has put down his marker and Tom Daly will know with his concluding dive reverse three and a half somersault a 3.4 tariff he's got to absolutely nail this one the 15 year old to get a magnificent medal well that was some response from a boy really but he is some man in diving terms the crowd have absolutely loved his diving. He is a sensation. He might not be going to win this competition, but surely it's gonna be a matter of time. So much pace in those somersaults and the entry, sensational. They are on their feet. What a smile. What a performance. Look at the tens. Four tens. Two to count. Daily. Sensational. That's taken him above the Chinese diver. And surely that is a bronze medal at the World Championships for the 15-year-old Britain. Now, Matthew Mitchum, the Olympic champion, going for gold here in second place. It's got to be top draw. 3.8 the tariff. Has he done it again? He won gold with an outstandingly brilliant dive in Beijing. Has he done it here in Rome? Top tariff. Well, it's a good dive. I don't think he's pulled it out this time. It's a really disappointing conclusion, I think, to his dives. Didn't quite get the shapes there. The entry falling away. No, he's not at all happy. Oh, it's a smile of resolution there. Holds his head. And he has blown it. Two 7.5s and a 7. That has cost him dearly. At the moment, Daly's in the silver medal position with Lutzin in bronze. What can Chu Bo produce here? The gold medal is his for the taking. If he can produce here, 3.8 the tariff. Silence. Well, how are the judges going to rate that? Has he got the gold? He had a really good lead, a maximum tariff on his back, two and a half somersault, two and a half twists. By no means flawless. Waiting for the marks to come up. The cheering in the stadium, they know the result. We're going to wait for the consultation there. The coach knows the 16-year-old hasn't delivered three sevens. Tom Daly has got the gold medal. Bo couldn't produce when it mattered. Tom Daly, 15 years of age, is the world champion. The young Brit cannot believe it. He didn't go for the high tariffs, but his execution was unbelievable, and he is in shock. Tom Daly, look at that, on top of the world. The world champion at 15 years of age. Sweet revenge 
on Bo, who beat him for the world junior title, but Daly gets the world senior title. Through there for the...